Hello everyone, and today's video will be continue, uh, continuing the story of the Sien Show LaFu um, in Star Realms. If you do enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm actually kind of hyped for this. From the trailer, um, everyone suspects that it's probably like a memorial weather for Ting Yu because she died, but we, I'm still not 100% sure if she dies. And there is one thing that I've seen from like thumbnail and the title is that apparently Junior Wen and um, Loka Olawocha, I'm sorry I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, but they have a fight, but I don't know what for. See, I suspect that, Jesus, uh, that um, Lowocha might be part of the Stellaron Hunters, but I'm not entirely 100% sure, you know. But because how well, what he said, but I, no, I think that's been debunked, but I don't know. Anyway, carpet clouds faded, war banners folded. I don't even know what that means, but, um, you know, head to the seat of divide foresight to ask about the situation. Sorry if I'm talking very quickly or whatever. I'm just very excited. I am very excited for this. Bro, 240 resin. So, so if you have a resin, it's freaking something. It's getting late. Where to now? Oh, great. This. Oh, look at this. Dan Shu's diary. Oh, wait, what the, the fuck? We got a dark? Oh, yeah, this is Stan's, bro. I haven't, I haven't been playing this game too much recently, so I don't know where I'm at. It's you. Hello. Would you like me to relay your message? Nah, I'm just passing. I want to edit the side to be full. Thank you! So then I as the arrival you see the divine force that you check out you wear. Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the general's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. Hopefully, I hope she does a good job as well. I can ever get used to this. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Are you tired? I got very bad. Oh, no. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. You sound tired, but I don't know. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said. The highest throne faces the strongest wins. It's a lot of work, it sounds like. But you enjoy yourself, alright? <laughs> yeah, surely, right? Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. I thought that was a crush because she really wants to be the general, so I don't know. I think she's enjoying herself. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? <laughs> well, of course not. <laughs> On the well. contrary, I'm just here I am just eager to, to thank you all in my official That's capacity fun. as acting general of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Jade, stop joking. Ooh, all Ooh. those benefits that the general promised—they're finally here. <laughs> oh, her face, she's so happy. Yes. What is it? The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Lafu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Lafu. Let's go! Within the Lafu's jurisdiction, you are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Yo, let's go. Let's go! On behalf of the Astral oh, Express, right. I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Bro, I didn't even notice Dan Hong there. <laughs> Bro, I just noticed him there. What the fuck? I did like zoned him out. I am so sorry, Dan Hong. I am so sorry, but what the hell? Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. Shrad. Nothing oh, tangible no. then? Oh, no. Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> now that things have been expressed, I still have something Express to discuss group. with you. Oh, Please, no. this way. 
Is this going to be about Team Union's death? Something? Maybe? Okay, I was about to say. Bro, you're making me walk over there. I just walked over there, man. You saw it. Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? Well, she didn't say that. You're just jumping to conclusions. It's not a mission. Yeah. The Stellaron Crisis. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. The Arbor's Resurrection. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Law Food. There's a lot of things going on here. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. Bro, four insanely high dangerous like things going on here. That's insane. It's just that. Jesus. Having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So. Where should we begin? Let's discuss Fantilia. It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred cool. with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Jeez. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lothu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a re-evaluation. We should proceed cautiously. Let's talk about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago, the abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Jeez. Hmm. They succeeded all right. But why would Gentilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. So Team Yu betrayed the Yami Dash. Ah, let's. Jesus. Jesus, so fucking evil. Ah, uh, let's just discuss the Stellaron Hunters. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as right. well. Jeez. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Elio foresaw destiny. all manner of possibilities for the Law Fu. Based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Law Fu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sien Zhou. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. It's like they're evil, but then right here they did something good, but so yes. Now that the future has come true, the San Joe has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. Uh, I think we uh, already have the gist. <sighs> that we may, but as logical as things might seem. There are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sien Zhou? That is a good and question. And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will nice. feature in the report, but for the sake of Jin Yuan, anything related to Sien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. That makes sense. I was about to make the same request, Master Divine. 
Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be pouring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Oh god, sorry. Mm. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. <laughs> I, he did get uh, the Stellar Hunters to help something out with him. Like, Before you leave, sorry. please make time to recuperate. Oh no. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Bye. Oh, oh. If you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. Does that mean Miss Ching Yin left behind? It was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. That is true. I just, yeah, we did not know where her body went. The Cloud Knights were only able to find oh, her, her thing. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Mm. I'm already prepared for yeah, the worst. Know. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Yeah, Confucian was Thank there you, as well. Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. <laughs> it's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. All right. Fan with blank heart print. Jeez. The fair to you count on a person. It used to be a pair, but one has gone missing. Oh, those two? I didn't realize. Didn't even realize. Things have come to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. Things are looking up for me, Mr. Yang. What are we going to do next? The Master Diviner asked us to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with you, Kong. If neither of you has anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. We don't have anything urgent? Wait, I was supposed to see you. Wait, I, I feel like you might have changed. Oh, don't worry, we can't anymore. Uh, but, oh, hello, March. Oh, we're going like this. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to kick butt and save the law food the without breaking a sweat. Yeah. It feels kind of surreal. That is true. Which is me a uh, Maybe this is all fate. You don't sound very happy. It may seem like the Stellaron Hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't Neither. make a future that doesn't exist come true. True. I... <laughs> true. Um... I always don't know sometimes if you have to read both of the boxes or one. And that one, you have to read both. And I'm annoyed. Since showing no. up, we've saved a lot of people and averted disaster for the whole Sian show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? Be happy. What are your plans from here? Actually, I was wondering if Diviner Fu could do me a favor. Look into your Pass because that is gonna be what uh that's what March's things will be about. Right? The Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers and can iterate and reiterate Kafka's past. Yeah. So it got me thinking: if I turned the Matrix on me, could it calculate my past? Because March is getting a uh, um uh, companion mission. I have I've only done three or four companion missions, so maybe five. But I do want to do more, but I haven't been able to live stream, so, yeah. Why did the R3 show for your help while she was here? I was shy. <laughs> Talking about personal stuff like that in front of everyone? Uh, it would be true. too embarrassing. <laughs> when you're free, 
Well, let's go hit up the divination commission together and see what Fu Shen has to say. We're together. Aww. Nice. Um. Where's Dead Hog? Dead Hog? Where the fuck did you go? He's gone. Why wow, was this rest? He didn't even say a word. Did he? Interesting. Oh no, there he is. He's some blind. Oh, Dead Hog. Returning to the Lofu and Scale Gorge waterscape. <sighs> it's a surreal feeling. Bet it would be. I left so determined. <laughs> Who would have thought that circumstances would draw me back once more? It's not like the Shoujo has done anything to you yet. <laughs> How long do you play on stage? I'll be gone very soon. Jing Yuan is still recovering. And the Cloud Knights won't protect me anymore. True, he, he didn't get stabbed by It you. remains yeah. to be seen how the six True. charioteers will react to my presence. I did forget about that. True. But at least for now, I'm safe. You'll be able to take them on easily, man. Uh, what are you going to do next? I want to meet the current High Elder of the Vidyatara. Bailu, right? It seems I won't be able to cast off Don Fung's negative karma. So I'd like to learn more about his past. I want to find out what I can do to make up for his sins. Bro, I wanted to invite me to Lunae's freaking um, companion mission so bad because I think yeah. If you're planning oh, on an extended so stay good. on the Law Fu, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. Oh. I'm sorry. Sag. Oh. Alright, let's head to the place. I wonder what um, Yuko. I feel like Yuko will be sad. It's Makes late. sense. Where to Makes now? sense, to be honest. Makes sense. So much loading, man! Alright. Oh, yeah, you'll be at the back. Bro, this place is so pretty. Look at this. Jeez. Oh, it's you! Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I love her. I really want her to become playable. Like, I really want her to become playable. Like, look at her design. She's becoming playable. I will. Like, come on. Our condolences, Hellmaster. If she doesn't become playable, I'm going to be pissed. Bro, look at this. You have guests. I shall take my leave. Oh, yeah, we have... Oh, yeah, these three haven't even met her. It was dead hung and um Chu Shrong and and the Archer who met her. Bro, she is so cool. She's a robot as well. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellaron Crisis. Oh, oh dear. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Ting Yun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, mm. was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Miss Tiggy left this behind. Huh. What is this one? Wait, what the? I never even noticed this. Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter mm. Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? We still don't know if it was a puppet or if it was actually Ting Yun, though. It's really it's How like someone who oh. spent over 30 no, no. years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What Just, happened to the yeah. real Ting Yun? We don't know. Uh, Madam Yukong. We don't know. I'm sorry. I understand. It makes sense. It's just hard for me to accept. It makes sense that's hard, yeah. It makes sense. <sighs> Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. That was a that was the a great. crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers, mm. <laughs> sisters, yeah. children. 
I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? Oh, that makes sense. It's a, it's a ceremony for every everyone that died. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, we'll join. Yeah, a soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. Yeah. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among That's them. That's what you're going to do with Tingyin's fan. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, <coughs> but also Sorry. to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed, all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yu. Mm. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. She was definitely like possessed, uh, possessed or something, or m manipulated. Not like she did. I, she, I think. She, yeah, she did it to her at her own will, I don't think. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. <laughs> I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. Uh, how can we help? I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Oh, Leave yeah. this to us. We'll take care yeah. of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukong. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Novalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. She's so sad. It's quite sad. I always did say that I like to gossip. And here I am rambling on proving you right again. <laughs> if only you were here to cut me off. Or you could just cut yourself. Bro, what the f What? Missy, yeah, 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 me. Oh, it's you. Oh, cut yourself. I don't even know. For what a moment, I thought yeah, no, no. she'd return. Like, cut yourself talking off. Did yeah, the Helm sense. Master send you over? But, uh, whoa, well, I'm not saying that. We're here to help sort out Miss Tim right. Yuen's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. I wonder what's in there. Okay, let's see what there is. Okay. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, what? What? a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some oh. kind of antique. Yeah, it's a fox one. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. 
It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. Huh. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming! It seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yoon. Oh? I. I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I. I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Aww. Ting Yoon and I were from different <laughs> guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. What the hell? Look at this. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. Nice. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre <laughs> oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A what? violin that could shatter glass <laughs> with its piercing shriek. Jeez, oh, what? Oh, what? I was completely Jeez. unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. Hmm. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Hmm. Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Yeah, knife? Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want to take a look at that box. There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. Oh? It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Oh? Think, where have I seen that name before? Oh, so you know something. I want to take a look at that. I nice. can't cook to save my life, but oh, one thing I'm knife. sure of is that's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yoon use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the Here's knife a gift. Stop. Spices Supreme. <laughs> a oh? room alley? Which store is that again? One of the places. <laughs> oh, take a look at the bow. This bow. But it's a good bow. <laughs> it couldn't be meant for me, could it? Oh yeah, you're a boy. <laughs> oh, think again. <laughs> All right, just <laughs> kidding. I'm <laughs> just trying to liven things up around here. <laughs> yeah, that was like just get oh, I don't know. We should get Do going. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Uh she said put them around the she had shuttle food, didn't she? Oh uh, Jesus! That's a um uh, Is that a cleaver? Is that, wait, is that what you say? That ain't done it in a normal life. That's a fucking believer. Jesus Christ. Tignon, Tignon, what am I going to get for you? If only you... <sighs> Aww. Right, let's give the gift. Alright. Let's go. The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Hello, Men Ming. Men Ming. Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. You I'm work here? here? The name is Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? What? You're here. Okay. We're here on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yoon. Oh, this is. How old this are you? Tea Miss Ting Yoon promised to get for me. She really oh. went to another world for me. Aww. She's incredible. 
Aww. But wow! What the hell? How? She must be in her 30s, 40s, or 50s at least. Jesus, what? When I, Go, I bet that aging is slower. Parents, the actual I thought I'd aging things slower. up by creating makes sense. a new tea product. That makes sense. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. A Ms. voice? Ms. came to the herself. tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CN Joe had ever tasted. Bro, that voice reminds me of Yan Ching. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. Maybe. I never thought she'd actually do it. Aww. Where is Miss Teen Yun today? Uh, <laughs> do we lie? Uh, she's had to back on another long voice. Oh, do I want to lie? Oh, yes. Yes. Now that the yes. crisis has been right. averted and the ports are right. resuming Please. operations, I don't want to break Ms. Yun has been dispatched on business with the Skyfaring Commission. I can't out to other worlds. I ha I couldn't I couldn't tell the truth. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Well, hold on a sec. Females, I may be served the tea she brewed. Yeah. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, oh. Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend. Aww. Seeing as she can't enjoy it right now, I'll have to invite all of you to try a cup. Sure. Does it taste like antimatter? <laughs> Sorry. Um. Oh wow, Jesus. A new tea variety brewed using the proof well tie spray everyone has a last twenty aside your mouth like clouds. It's just gas. Oh, uh, where are we going over here? Alright. Uh, oh where to you now? Uh I remember uh Aruba Alley apparently. Uh I can, I can really. The Waffle is famous for its oh, chick chick. You've got uh, to give it a try. Oh, how's it going? Did what? you take some time off? What? Any more of the Sancho? This isn't even a part of the quest. Have you heard of spices? Isn't of that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sense? Oh, maybe it is. All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? If you, uh, go on. It's the main commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Okay, this is this is a part of the best. Tourists episode. fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever Thanks. I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. <laughs> Fucking great. Well, famous for its mung bean soda. You've got to give it a try. Why were you. Why was she at this uh, vending machine, huh? She was getting some soda. And I'll get some water to wash it down with. There we go. Yummy. Now we go. Oh, is this the new? Oh, is this is the new place. This is the new place. Fucking cricket. <laughs> Hello. Damn it. Uh, spice is supreme. Check out that sign. Here it is. Oh, this sign. All right, was. Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? We held a gift giving area for Mr. Oh, Yude. Something from Miss Ting Yun for me? Oh, is this the kitchen knife? Oh. Maybe. Oh, what a precious yeah. person she is. Oh, a sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto 
You can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> True. Then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. <laughs> At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cuts straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. What? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Tenyun how sharp is, is too it? Kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her hmm. something. Aww. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? Uh, do we tell her? Actually, Tingyun, you tell Tosh what happened to you. I feel like we tell her. I feel like this is all. This. This is real, right? <laughs> the monster you mentioned. Where did it come from? I wish. I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. I say that. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Let me prepare a dish for you as a gift for Miss Tang Yun. Let's go to bring us a bowl of food. It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. Please, you'll have to eat her share too. Aww. About that bow, I think I know who Miss oh, sorry. Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. Oh? The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right? Makes sense, but go back to Look at that. God damn it! If only Miss Ting Yun could try this one last time. I didn't speak to the kid! Oh, god damn it. I'm sad now. All right, let's go. The mooring. Wait, this is where the ceremony is being held, isn't it? You go! Oh, look, oh my God, look how many there are. Hello. What brings you here? We're gonna pass on a gift from Miss Ting Yun. Oh yeah, she's a bow user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. Oh. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helmmaster, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice. Even if she was my subordinate, she never fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, 
the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. Wow. He used to think that the Xianzhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me. Those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. Yeah. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Let's go. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. What, what, wait! Wait for me! Oh dear! <laughs> Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amicassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? Yeah, I've found a, a gift. Bro, your glasses are the same color as your hair. <laughs> Blend in. I, I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Aww. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. Aww. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. Aww. Oh, the kite! A paper kite carries a pilot who can no longer fly. She's getting a lot of things for this. Ah, uh, you go. If you're ready, please select a few items to place aboard the Star Scaff. Alright. Paper kites are often gifted to children, but as a symbol of spreading one's wings and soaring high up into the sky, they are also a comfort to Foxian pilots. It's an old tradition that's carried on to this day. Ah, uh, it's a bit dangerous. A bit dangerous? Hmm. Out of all this stuff we've got, what do you think we should place on the star skiff? Uh. Let's do the soul uh, pay. Let's do the paper. This time. Part. We needn't compete. Let's do it. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. Uh... Her favorite this dish. This is a gift from Miss Yensui on behalf of all the rest of us on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. <laughs> the tea named after this her. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made. Especially named after you. That is it. So sweet though. Named after her. And the... Uh, Abic Hassidus, you Thank you have for said. everything you've Sorry. done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul soothing ceremony. Please make right. your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. I'm guessing it's going to be the first cutscene. It's a cutscene, alright. Oh, wait. I should go. Oh, wait. Can I read it again? Yes, okay. Soon this, this, uh, the Starskiff will carry the items you selected to the unknown, to the stars unknown, vanishing in the vastness of the halo. Long life or short life, everyone sails towards the same destination. Jesus Christ, that is depressing as fuck. <laughs> Jesus! No matter how long you live for, we all arrive at the same destination. It's like, hey, go, go, go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
It's getting late. Where to now? Here we go. Yeah, <gasps> cutscene. Yeah, it is. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, this is so pretty. Dead hug. Oh, did you wait and get you? Fish hard. Oh. I thought she looks worried for a second. Oh, they're getting sent into there. Is that like a portal? Is that a portal? General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. Oh, no, he wants to talk to us first. My apologies, <laughs> I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Lofu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Oh? Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? <laughs> Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? <laughs> You're too kind, General. Please, let us reconvene at the seat of divine should've foresight. Did the other one. I should have did the other one. God fucking damn it. Uh... Oh, God damn it. I wish it, I wish it did the other one now. Go back here. Oh, God. I wish we could teleport at that place. That would be very nice. It's getting very late. nice indeed. Where to now? Ah, uh, the thing about uh, a token. We're getting a token. Ooh. What is your purpose for entering this family? Family. Pressing F by accident. No, just a casual F. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Nice. Uh, is this a uh, Jade Ab uh, Abacus? Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a Jade Abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall. So that's but the this act? oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this Jade Abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my hand. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's cool. No matter it's like a how message. astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, <laughs> I trust that such an important article mm. will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. But I hope you can understand. Did I to uh, yep, got huh. it. Say no more, sure thing. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity, oh, no. General. Did you add? They gave me a cup of tea. Oh no. I'll be Don funny. Hong. Oh, General. Oh. In accordance oh. with the edict of the Ten Lords company. Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. Let's go! From this day henceforth, Let's go. you may come and go freely on the Law Fu. Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought we were just copy and march. I thought that but I it. must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scalegorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. Oh, don't worry. He'll be able to destroy anyone that comes this way. Maybe not. Maybe, finally, is questionable. Maybe. I don't know if you would. 
could buy these right now. I'm pretty sure the high elder. But you know, any, any, anyone else? I think would be good. I understand. Okay. Anyone this else? This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls Was for it a, wound in your heart? a line or two of poetry. The whole um, Though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. Mm. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. Please meet the Archer. May Please. that voyage be smooth <laughs> and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Thank you. Thank you. Jade Apis. Yeah, check. Go, my dude. Oh, hi. I know hey. we haven't got the chance to get acquainted, but I've heard a lot of good things about the crew from the general. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Thank you. I'm leaving the love for. Oh, so straight up. Soon? <laughs> uh, I wanted to help the general, but things didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Also, I have a rather abrupt request. Oh. After fighting Dan Hong, I feel yeah. like my skills are lacking somewhere. If you have any time to coach me. Yo! I need to. We can schedule a couple of rounds. <laughs> Deal. Let's go! Safe travels. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. Oh, I, I should love that. Awesome. Jo we got we just picked up the general's diary? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Himiko okay. messaged me. The Express detected oh. the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. Oh? I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must sure. have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Nice. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Yeah, sure. Have you got any Papa. unfinished business on the Sienjo? I to be some of the friends I made along the way. Oh, yeah. There are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Is there anyone else, actually? I was gonna say Loetcha, but don't worry. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express first. You and March finish up here and come back soon, all right? Uh, we've been so busy running around in circles, we haven't gotten the chance to say goodbye to friends we've just met. I feel like parting is still such sweet sorrow. Hmm. I don't. We haven't said goodbye. Uh, who to, should like, I go anyone. to first? The Master Diviner? Ching Chu, the Miracle Doctor, or what about Master Gongshu? Uh, oh, Master shall Gongshu. we go and meet them all? Dad, hug. When I left the train, I only had time to say a quick goodbye to Himiko. I should go back and give her an update. Yeah. <laughs> and thank her for her guidance. Nice. But I just press the robot. Oh, sure. Before you return to the express, bid farewell to the people you got to know. Jesus Christ, that's all the words. Um, it would be nice if you told me where everyone was. That would be nice. Oh my god, look how many places there are. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know where anyone is. I gotta be honest. I don't know where anyone is. So I might just go back to the pilot car. I'm gonna watch Bread of Light do this. But. Yeah. There's a I don't know what anyone is. That's the thing. I just don't know. Star skiffs depart sure. through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal it sucks perspective, that I it there sucks is that I little difference between the lives of long and short-life species. 
The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Hello. Didn't know you were uh, you were a poet, Mister. <laughs> yeah, you're back. Nico <laughs> and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time. Where are we going I next? I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Welcome yeah, to Stay yeah. on the Express. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? <laughs> uh, so, what's our next stop? Yeah, actually, I'm very curious. Hemikoni, do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, sure. that was our original destination. I think I need a reminder, please. Yeah. The Express's records show that Penacony was a prison planet used by the oh. IPC to exile criminals. Okay. At least it was at the time of recording. However, following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipe. The they Harvard? say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the Express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. Ah. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Me went in the, in the Shackley prison. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> what is your plan? Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. Oh! They who brought the Stellaron onto the Sienjo, what was their motive? <laughs> you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General. My power does indeed stem from the abundance. Mm. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaoshur. <laughs> That's right, Jing Wen. <gasps> oh! Uh, away. Uh, the revival Jing of the Arbor is an omen. Right? It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. Because of the eyes. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, <gasps> the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, we will put the abundance in their grave. Why do you still have the blind? Why do you have a blindfold on? That you can, s that you can see the- <gasps> Yo, it's completed already? Jesus Christ, that went quick. I'm sorry, right, I have to check. I have to check, I have to check how long that went for. That didn't even go for an hour. What the fuck? Bro, that cutscene was awesome. Oh my god. Alright, let's talk to everyone. Why are you still? I was confused why. He's here. Oh, wait, can I talk to. Himiko? And the Coney is throwing a banquet. I yeah, received Jake. an invitation from the family. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. All right. Which will be in about five weeks. Oh, no. Our time on the CNJO has come to an end. Back to the original plan, I suppose. All right. Being surrounded by the universe feels <laughs> amazing. The Lafu feels like a small corner of something much, much bigger. Enjoy the view so far? Yeah. All the challenges <laughs> of everyday life seem to disappear when you gaze out into the universe. You should totally visit the Express more often. It's a great place to have even greater fun. <laughs> All right. Then I'll be here to bother you more often in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I bet there are so many opponents out there in the universe just waiting for me to find them. All right, oh, we got 10 still, Jay. That's uh... So we got, we got a good amount of wishes. Look at that, oh, it looks so cool. But I hope everyone did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe there. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Um, the cutscene is like the last one with uh, Jing Louie, um, Luocha and Jing Yue. Oh, that was nice. I thought they were gonna fight to be honest. I thought they were gonna fight. But I think we'll see the fight in 1.4. I feel like we'll. I'm sorry that I didn't go and speak to everyone. Um, gotta be honest, I don't know where anyone is. But um, but I'm hoping that you know Brand Brand and Light goes around and talks to everyone, so I can you know watch him do it and see what they say as well, so I can see what the things the things I've missed out on. But yeah, hope everyone did enjoy, it and um, I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye.